Hi everyone, Janie here, and if you saw my Craftspire unboxing haul video a couple weeks ago, you'll know that I got some wax seal items, and one of them was this 10-piece vintage wax seal stamp set that comes with 10 interchangeable heads, the stamp heads, and wonderful wooden handles. I really love these. And I also got some of the wax beads. Um, those are beautiful pink pearl ones. It was a set of 210 that also came with the spoon and a couple of little candles that I'm not using. And I also got these um, transparent um, wax, uh, little wax beads. They're a little bit different than the other ones, but we're gonna check all of that out today. And this is actually the first time using it. Well, I practiced a little bit before the, making this video, and I also watched some videos to make sure if there were any tips and tricks that I should know. And so now, I'm ready to show you what I got. I decided to show you the 10-piece vintage wax seal stamp set using this picture because I thought you would be able to see each stamp head so much better than me trying to get my camera to focus. I'm just going to be using these three and I was going to show you how it's interchangeable. They just unscrew right off like that and you screw on another one and there you go. It's that easy. So quick and easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I don't have one of those little things to hold the spoon. Look at this, it's stuck to the wood. I don't have one. So I've just lit a candle and I'm going to be holding it over that. Now it did come with the two little tea lights, but I think those work best when you have one of those little little stands for this. So I'm going to save those for that. And I brought in a piece of wood just to set this on, just to be safe. And let's see, what else do I have? So from watching um, the videos, there was a tip from a professional that does this professionally, does wedding invitations and stuff, that said have a baggie of ice and set your stamps on the ice. And this is going to help when you are stamping the wax. It's going to help it solidify a little bit sooner and get a really gorgeous image. And I was quite impressed, so I thought I'll try that. And I actually did try it and I think it works great. Okay, let's get started. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I got this cute little envelope and we're gonna put a seal on that. So it really does take a while for this to melt so I'm gonna speed things up. And you can see how easy it is. I'm just using two of the little beads that, that came with this, so just the two of them and that's going to be all that I need. Okay, that's ready and I'm just going to hold the flap down. You can seal it first, but for this I'm just going to hold it down and pour the wax. I'm going to try to keep the wax in a circle but you don't have to. You could let it be any shape that you want. And I'm just gonna grab one of these. Okay, and I'm making sure it's going the right direction. And I'm gonna pull this closer to me because I really want to try to center this. And of course it is oozing out one side and that is normal. In fact, if you have enough beads in there, like if I put three, it would ooze out, you know, all the way around with a really wide border. And that's also a really nice look. So I'm just gonna let that sit there for a few seconds and then lift it up. And there it is. So it is off on one side and not on the other. So I didn't get it centered good. And like I said, if you put in three of the, um, the wax beads, you're gonna get a lot more wax on there. And then while I have that, I was gonna show you on another one, but I'm gonna show you on this one. So I'm gonna be using this metallic um, paint pen. And I'm just going to 
go over the image and you don't have to be an artist to do this just rub it over the raised image and you will get an absolutely gorgeous effect look at that so beautiful and I know the coloring on my camera again is off <laughs> um, so you weren't really getting that true color but it is absolutely gorgeous okay and now let me grab this here I have a bookmark that I made and I stamped a verse right there and we're gonna put a ribbon on it right up here at the top and the wax is going to hold the ribbon in place so let me melt some of this again and I'll be right back okay well my dog decided to start barking about the time that this was ready to go but this is where I wish I had three hands so I'm going to set this down just for a second and grab my ribbon and twist it into shape like I want it and then I'm going to pour this and you have to watch your fingers you don't want it to get on your fingers and pour it right across the ribbon like so and this time I'm going to be using the rose and again making sure it's going the right direction and I might stick my head in the way here because I really do want to center this and show you how beautiful it looks if you get it centered right and I did not again so while that's sitting there I will show you that I can get it centered <laughs> this is a practice one um, that I had made and it looks beautiful and that was just using um, the two wax beads instead of three but if you get it centered just right it's awesome okay so let's take a look here and I did not get it perfect but again I'm still learning and you know what I've noticed um, I've watched a lot of the videos and they're not always perfect not even with the um, professional that I watched so you know that's good to know and I really do like adding this gold to it it is so pretty I also have silver but I really love the way that that looks. It is just beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something else. Okay, so while this is finishing up melting here, what I have here is a, a silicone mold. And I'm not gonna be molding this or anything, but if you have like a silicone mold, a silicone mat, um, something that is non-porous, and flexible that can handle the heat this is a great way to make a bunch of these in advance if you don't want to you know get everything set up every time you want to do just one then you can make a lot of them and you could put double-sided tape on the back or when you go to use them you could put glue and I may have not got that melted good because I didn't get it all out but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to show you here I should have changed tips on here so you could see a different one but it's just a great way if you want to make a lot of them so you know I've got some made here and you know then when I go to use them I just adhere them to what I want to adhere them to without having to do this whole setup all over again so let me pull this out and there we go so that is one way of doing this now I'm going to show you the beads and I think I'll use the gold ones this time I've been this is what one of the clear ones looks like so you can see what that looks like and then I added the gold paint to that and I will tell you that it takes forever for these to melt and actually before I put it in here because I still have that pink in here what I'm gonna do 
is I have a piece of wax paper wadded up and I'm going to melt that and then I'm going to clean it out and then I will do these beads. Okay, so these beads are a little bit different. Um, let me show you. They're little tiny things and they also melt differently. They're a lot thicker. Um, to be honest with you, it almost seems like um, you know, a, a glue gun, a hot glue gun. And so it takes longer for them to melt. And you will see the consistency here in a minute because I'll be back as soon as it's melted. Okay, it is melted. And this is one of those times where I really wished I had something I can just set this on and go do something else right here for a minute. Also, I meant to change one of the stamp heads so that you can see another one besides the two I've been using, but not being able to set this down, I was unable to use both of my hands to do that. Okay, so this is just a very slow moving wax. Okay, so as you can see, the camera was at a different angle, but I'm trying to hold this where you can see it. It is like molasses syrup coming out of there. And hold on, I'll reach across here. I'm going to grab my little stick and try to help it out. And I put quite a few beads in there too. But this comes out very thick, and I really didn't have a lot of control over making a circle with it. So let me grab this here and put that on there. And yes, my dog is still barking. It's because someone is out there. Okay, we'll let that sit a second. And there we go. Come here. So you can also trim off these little things. I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is how the gold looks. Okay, I grabbed my scissors and I'll just show you that you can just kind of go right around the edges. You can cut off that little area there. You can easily trim off anything that you don't like on these so I'll just kind of trim right around there and then this time oops right over the fire do not do that stupid move and this time I'm going to be using the silver because silver and gold look good together and get that rose all filled in there and look at that isn't that beautiful so I can tell you right now though that the um, these clear beads are not my favorite. And hold on a second here. Okay, let me set that out of the way so I don't burn myself. Um, the clear ones are not my favorites. Uh, maybe if I practice with them more, but these I absolutely love. And I absolutely love these. This set is definitely something worthwhile to get if you are just getting started with this and I hope you've learned something about you know making them not attached to something or you can use them to attach ribbon and other things look at that that is on there nice and sturdy and sealing envelopes so I'm having fun with this and I just wanted to kind of share it with you and give you a review and these stamps I give them two thumbs up same with those and I can honestly say that I would highly recommend the Craftspire 10 piece vintage wax seal stamp set to anyone that's getting started because it's great quality and it gives you a variety to work with and is a lot less expensive than buying one wax seal stamp at a time. And I'll have a link below in the description box to that along with a discount code. And even though I'm definitely a beginner at this, I hope my demonstration and review was helpful for anyone that hasn't tried this yet. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.